Hubspot has an awesome new feature, and that is Sankey diagrams or web flow diagrams. And if you're not familiar, we're going to build one right now. You're going to click this new customer journey reports that's in beta. And this is only available for enterprise users. And then you'll see this is a Sankey diagram here. And what we can add to this is I'm just going to start with like a really basic paid visited. I'm going to take my visitors who come in. I'm going to say a form. And we're going to build a flow of what our visitors are doing or what our prospects are doing on our website. And then we're going to say another page visit here. So I'm going to build this three-step one. I'm going to hit run, and then I'm going to come back and add some details here. But just as this gets going, <clears throat> what we're saying is, all right, our contacts have come in and they've done this first step, a paid visit. Then we want to say, have they done a form fill? Then we want to say they visited any other page. So you can see right here, this date range that we're starting with, we had 1,180 prospects come in, they visit any page. Of those, 306 converted on any form. And then 295 of those 306 also viewed another page after whatever form fill that was. So this is kind of just our starting point to get us going. I'm going to now come in and say, all right, I want to see all my prospects who only saw a page that included a store in the URL. So after they fill out a form, then they went and saw a store page. I'm going to hit refresh. And while that's going, I'm going to just kind of go quickly through and show on the side here. There's a whole bunch of different options in terms of, you know, what are the uh, interactions that we can measure, CTA clicks, lifecycle stage, marketing emails. So you can really build out a detailed view of, you know, this is a prospect or a customer who comes in, they convert on this form, they see these emails, they engage or don't engage in those emails. Another cool feature, um, I'm going to just stick with the pages for now because it's, it's a pretty simple application. But if we add another step here for a page view, and I'm going to make this one optional. There's a step right here. We can say optional page views. And I'm going to say that they viewed a product page that contains 2022. So a recent product. And again, this is an optional step. And this is going to give us like even more information in this report over here. <clears throat> so now that is the same 1180 uh, prospects come in, 306 of them convert on a form. Well, let's see. Yeah, store. Oops. That's the problem. Didn't say. Okay, 2022 apply. One more time. <clears throat> you can tell this is live. And this is refreshing. All right, so cool. So 1180, you can see a whole group of those skipped right through this optional step that we had, where they landed right on a form, you know, that 306 that converted on a form. But 528 of these did go and view those recent products, that 2022 line that we're, you know, showing here of products before ending up on a form, and then 113 ultimately end up uh, on a store page. So pretty cool charts. I uh, would love to discuss them if anyone has any questions. Thanks so much for watching.